kommt aus der Nähe von Hannover, ist 38 Jahre alt und er hat jetzt seit rund zwei Jahren sich nicht mehr für die European Tour, für das Hauptfeld qualifizieren können. Deshalb ein großer Moment für ihn. Wir drücken ihm die Daumen. Herzlich willkommen, Michael Hurz! Michael Holtz bekommt es mit dem einzigen Schweden im Turnierfeld zu tun. Einer, der sich inzwischen schon einige Male hat qualifizieren können hier für das Hauptfeld auf der European Tour. Er ist aktuell die Nummer 156 der Welt. Die Rede ist von Daniel Larsson. Best of 11 Legs, so heißt die Distanz auf der European Tour. Sechs Legs braucht man also, um in die zweite Runde einzuziehen. Und der Caller dieses ersten Matches hier am Freitagabend ist The Voice, Ross Bray. Well, welcome back to Mannheim for the resumption of round one of the German Darts Grand Prix. The happy bet German Darts Grand Prix. Event 10 of 12 on the European Tour for 2017. We've seen eight players make it through to round two already today. Eight more will join them this evening. We've got former Euro Tour winners Steve Beaton and Vincent van der Voort. A recent World Series winner in Kyle Anderson. Keegan Brown, who's triumphed on the youth scene but we start with one of the top players from Scandinavia Daniel Larson the Swede against one of the host nation qualifiers Michael Hertz one of four Germans in action today he's not gone well for the Germans so far both players who've played so far have been knocked out in round one including Germany's number one Max Hopp it is down to Hertz and Germany's number two Martin Schindler to restore some national pride and book their places in the second round. The winner of this one will face the number four seed, Simon Whitlock. It is filled up in the hall here. The cheer for Michael Hertz was probably as big as we've heard all day. Not sure if the cheer for Paul Nicholson, my co-commentator, would be quite so loud. That hurts, Dan. Ha <laughs> ha! Pun number one. Yeah, the... Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, Daniel to throw first. The reception for Michael Hertz is very encouraging for the evening. It was very quiet this afternoon, as it usually is on a Friday afternoon, but not so much anymore, and I guarantee it won't be for the rest of the weekend. What I am impressed with, Dan, is that walk-on song for Michael Hertz. So that is a proper walk-on song. I Wanna Rock by Twisted Sister. That takes me back. Well, Michael Hertz has appeared on the European Tour before, but this is three years on from his last appearance on the Euro Tour and in fact this is his fifth appearance on the Euro Tour so he was actually a regular back in 2013-2014 wow. and he has made the second round a couple of times once he saw off Richard van Zeitfeld but the other win was against the Rocket wow. Ronnie Baxter so a significant victory for Michael Hertz in that one in both cases actually strangely by quirk of fate Michael Hertz Made it through to the second round and faced Peter Wright. Lost them both. Daniel Larson, wow. we've seen on the European Tour this year in what was a weird game with Justin Pipe, where Justin Pipe smashed him off the board in the first leg, missed a whole load of darts at double in the wow. first leg, lost it, and then lost the next five without even challenging. 6 0 to Daniel Larson against the former Austrian Darts Open champion Justin Pipe. 85. He was then beaten by Kim Hybrex in round two. So in actual fact, what's happened is these guys, they have made the second round of Eurotoes before, and the only guys that have beaten them are the guys who are ever present. The only two ever present on the European Tour, Kim Hybrex and Peter Snake by Ryan. 16. Daniel, we well, one of them is definitely going to make the second round this time. We promise you that. Right. That's about as much emotion as you get from Daniel Lawson, that little grimace for that five. 13. Daniel Larson, a man who has decided that the best look in the world is that of Michael Stipe, lead singer of R.E.M. And quite right he is too. Well, knocks off the 46. Daniel Larson will look at the 18s. Double 16. Lovely stuff from the Swede. Very tidy indeed. 
Well, you reckon he looks like Michael Stipe? I think he looks like the kind of person you would have seen in Goldeneye. He does have a sort of henchman oh, look about him. He's got a battle scar on his head and doesn't look like the kind of guy you want to mess with. Or Moby. That's the other one I was going to go with. Moby with some facial hair. One. Well, he also... He, look, he looks like Daniel Larson, the top dart player in his own right. This is a man who is, is doing well in the... What used to be the Scandinavian Darts Corporation is now the Nordic and Baltic wow. Darts Corporation. Baltic. He's currently fifth in their rankings. Kim Viljanen is the man who is dominating. But you've got some good players up there as well. You've got the likes of Marco Cantili, Dennis Nielsen, Magnus Karis, of course, who had that run in Gibraltar on the Euro Tour. And in fact, he took out a couple of those guys in qualifying for this. Took out Viljanen and Cantili back to back. Don't forget about Ulf. Well, Ulf, yeah, how could we forget about Ulf? Despite the fact Ulf's played really well when we've seen him on the Euro Tour, he's not actually doing a great deal in the old Scandinavian rankings. He's down at number nine. Wow. Is it one of those situations where Ulf just qualifies when he wants to travel? <laughs> maybe, maybe. He could start his own chant. He does what he wants. Oh. He's Ulf, he's Ulf. He does what he wants. 60. You help me, I'll sing along. Well, you mentioned... Daniel's qualification, I think Michael Hertz's qualification is very impressive. Pierre Fink, 6'3", Nico Bloom, wow. who we saw last week when he played someone about three times his age, <laughs> maybe even four times. Robert Marianovic, who I really rate, mm. and Rennie Idams, the cube. Whoa. Listen to the noise in Mannheim <laughs> as the German fires in the first 180, but it might be for naught. Those 180 cards are like minions out there when they've got their purple suits on. Brilliant reception for Michael Hertz's 180. It may be an equally loud cheer if this double 10 finds the mark. Good guide. That's not. And rushed it. Felt like he rushed it. Daniel require 56. Daniel Larson is going to have to get used to this noise. The only way to keep them quiet is to hit doubles. Because they're going to get on his back in a minute. Game shot but that's the way. Daniel Larson. Brilliant, brilliant riposte from that first Game dart, on. which he will admit was a little bit out of the way. Well, the Swede keeping his cool and making it 2-0. And could we see Daniel Larson... Produce another 6 0 victory in the first round on the Euro. Maybe a little bit early to start thinking like that. But he started quite strongly. As they look to fight it out for a place in round two to face Simon Whitlock. Arguably, Michael Hertz had the toughest route in qualifying in the host nation qualifiers we had last night. Because, as you mentioned, Pierre Fink, Nico Bloom, who we know is a good player, Robert Marianovic who is a very strong player, and then wow. René Idems, who, of course, made his name in that incredible game with Michael Van Gogh at the World Championship, where he came from two sets down, took him to a decider, won six out of seven legs in a spell oh, there against the world number one, René Idems, the cube. And he's played some good darts since then as well. He's been a guy who has shown he's capable of around about that 100 average. Yeah, he played all right in Vienna earlier this year. Mm. 85. But René will be very frustrated that he hasn't made more events this year but that's just more credit to Michael Hertz well, I think we're probably seeing that it's it's they are getting more competitive these host nation qualifiers in Germany aren't they with Martin Schindler's continued progression Max Hopp is obviously still there although he's finding ways to lose games even when he's playing well at the minute oh, yes, we've got the likes of Rene Burnt who went and averaged 100 last weekend uh, obviously, Michael Hertz has come through here after a three-year absence on the Euro Tour, but Aydin wow. Stoika. I haven't seen Stoika on the Euro Tour, and he's doing fantastically in the German Super League. Langendorf, another player. Oh, hang about, Daniel Larson. Oh, Daniel Larson, double 12. One well, out 20. That was like squaring it over the six-yard box and nobody being there. But he'll be back. A little bit of pressure on it now, though. Full credit to the German. Daniel Larson, double 12. Couldn't be better, that guide. Case in point. 
3 0 to the Swede, keeping the crowd on their seats as opposed to out of them. Yeah, well, you can tell it's a noticeably different atmosphere this evening than it was this afternoon because this German crowd is nowhere near capacity. Well, I say nowhere near. We're, we're getting close, but it's, it's, it's not the 3,500 that we'll see tomorrow and Sunday. But just the noise they're creating, every single time Hertz looks like he might fill it up, they're ooing and aahing and cheering. Well, you mentioned Renier Burnt when he played Jimi Hendrix oh, last week. At the start of the game, René Burnt was sensational. And he kept the crowd on their seats and kept them quiet. But when Jimmy came back into the match, as Michael may do here, that's when they will get more vocal. The closer Michael gets to Daniel, the more they will get on Daniel's back. Yeah. That's exactly right. Just the ton, and it's not enough to get to a finish. Larson has a chance here. Oh, it's so good, that one, isn't it? It looks so inviting. The flights are in exactly the right position. Oh, I'd be so frustrated. One on. Be very frustrated with that, Daniel Larson. Yeah, that's a bad ton because that first start really was millimetre perfect. Or in the words of uh, Australian great commentator Dennis Cometti, it was centimetre perfect. AFL reference there. Daniel Larson started at 161. He'd admit that that first start was not what he wanted. Big treble. 96. A brilliant big treble from Daniel Larson now puts pressure on this. This might have to go. And it's not going to. 25 is what Daniel Larson wants right now. And he's got it. But he's not got tops, and Michael Hurst, he's had three darts at double so far in this match. All three of them were double ten, all three were missed. Can he give himself another dart here? When he's going the safety first route, and you've got to hit the big number if you go that way, Michael. Stop it, it hurts. And what a gate it was as well. It was perfectly perched on top of that wire for him to hit that bullseye. However... The Swede, 4-0 in front, he could be if he hits this double 10. And he gets it. Gradual progression to where it finally ended up. The Swede, fantastic result for him so far. And like you said, Dan, it's, it could possibly be another 6-0. It could. It really could. We've got a favourite Swedish dart player of all time. 100. Do I have a favourite? Well, the, the one, he was, he was before my time, but he's the guy who a lot of the Scandinavian players, they, they, GWI, oh, when they mentioned, oh, Stefan oh, Lord. He was, uh, he was the guy, the, the great Jan Hoffman, who's instrumental in the Scandinavian Darts Corporation. I think he's been instrumental in taking the Euro Tour to Copenhagen Six. next year in Denmark. First time we're going to Denmark on the Euro Tour. He talked about Stefan Lord as being possibly the greatest player ever to come from Scandinavia. 16. But in terms of, of players around now, I mean, Magnus Karras has been around back in that day and still going. I mean, yep. it's been incredible to watch Magnus Karras still playing 30 years later. There have been others who have threatened to do great things, like Goran Klim, who got to the oh. World Masters final. Oh, there we go. Wow. Ross Gray, former high jump champion, former copper, top PDC ref, and fly swatter. One man of if that was Simon Whitlock, he would have pinged that. <laughs> He's done it in the he European has done Championships. That before, yeah. Daniel Professional Lawson. fly clipper. Daniel Larson just waiting for Ross to do it and then <laughs> sticking a couple of darts in the treble 20. That's the way to do it. Yeah, other Swedish players who had opportunities to do great things. Goran Klemmer, who uh, made the World Masters final. Uh, Marcus Kohonen, who was a great young player. And a guy that's still around, who has still got some years ahead of him, is Oskar Lukasiak. Ah, we've seen him turn up in various qualifiers, haven't we? I'm not sure he's made one of these. Not yet. Not yet. Not going to see Daniel Larson check out just yet in this leg. However, he is bossing this game. And the game plan for Daniel Larson would have been to get a lead, keep the crowd quiet and maintain it. And 
as things stand, it is progressing perfectly for Daniel Bravo. Larson. Daniel, you're in double 18 36. will make it 5 0. You cannot fault Daniel what that. And listen to that. There is nothing here. You could hear a pin drop for the first time in this game, pretty much. You could hear a fly getting swatted off a dartboard. <laughs> Should the occasion arise. That's got to be frustrating for Michael Hertz after playing so well last evening. You know, just thinks with this draw, he could have been worse. He could have got Steve beaten or someone like that. Sixty. But fair play to Daniel Larson. He's done a very professional job tonight. He has. I mean, in 40% of his doubles, average in the high 80s. It's been solid 60. from Daniel Larson. And it looks as if it's going to be enough to book his place in the second round of the European, a European Tour event for a second time this year. I wonder if we should have a word with um, Michael Van Gogh and see if he should do a, a Daniel Larson and grow a beard. Well, I'm not so sure, you know. No? I'm not so sure. I'm not sure. I think, I, I think in the pantheon of great beard wearers in darts, Daniel Larson's right up there. It's a, it's a solid effort. It really is. Well, I'm right up, Fulton. Well, we're not quite in Dennis Ovens' territory or Simon Whitlock territory, but it's very strong. I'd certainly certainly rate it higher than the uh, his fellow Nordic and Baltic player, Vejo Vinicar, who looked like he'd been living in a cave for a number of years. <laughs> Daniel Larson wouldn't look out of place casting Pirates of the Caribbean. Hmm? I could see that. It looks as if he's sailing into round two right now. Oh, Just the 60. 1-4-1 one, one, one plays 1-4-3. One, Michael Hurts yet to hit a double. I was just about to say, come on, Michael. Hit that one and bring the crowd to its feet. 97. That'll do. Daniel, you require 140. Nine times out of ten, Michael Hurts will get a shot at a double. And he's going to get a shot. He pings this, and always 5 0 down. Would have he had to double? This crowd are going to love it. Well, what's the route? Is it 14? Is it 6? Is it 10? It's 6 for tops. Game oh, seven. lovely stuff. Well, his return to the European Tour after three years away threatened to leave him without a leg. But he's got one. Just the five more. Easy enough when you say it like that. Well, Daniel did it. Yeah. You think about it like that, you've got to get some sort of heart from that. My opponent was able to take five legs off me. There's no reason why I can't do it to him. Well, there's only five points in the averages. He's not getting absolutely battered all over the hockey, although this doesn't help. Doesn't help at all. That's his first 180. Tell you what, I was listening to the way that Daniel's darts were hitting there, and there was a real thump <laughs> when those darts were clanging together. Wouldn't want to get in the way of those. Mm, back to back. Back to back. One back up! to back! If you wanted proof as to how good Daniel Larson is, you just got it in the last 60 seconds. Sensational leg. <laughs> Well, looked like he was going to close it out 6-0 at one point. Michael Hurts gets a leg on the board, and all he's done is spur Daniel Larson into action. Trouble 15 or 19. Okay, well, he's going to have another visit to see this off. 17. Yeah, last dart. Sorts him out. Double eight. Will complete a 6-1 win. Maybe not quite as dominant as his 6-0 victory against Justin Pipe when we saw him on the Euro Tour earlier this year, but... Pretty impressive nonetheless from Daniel Larson, who slides one just next to the double eight, puts one the wrong side. <laughs> but he's 300 points clear, so he's going to get more. The first 12 darts, Michael Hurt scored exactly 180 points. Daniel, you require six Daniel Larson in this leg has had 280 visits. Should go in. Well, now it's a different target. Double four. Game Gets it. Shot. Daniel Larson, Sweden, the Nordic and Baltic qualifier, does a fantastic job of keeping this German crowd, a respectful German crowd, I will say it, on their seats. We'll see him tomorrow.
He plays Simon Whitlock. It'll be Battle of the Beards, Sweden versus Australia tomorrow. We'll look forward to that. However, next up we got Jamie Lewis of Wales and Andy Bolton of England, or the man who lives in Scotland. So we'll grab a few words with the Swede, and we'll see you guys in a moment for the next game. Trotzdem großen Applaus für Michael. Nach langer Zeit noch mal hier auf der European Tour mit dabei. Daniel, congratulations. Happy with the game? Very happy. Yeah. Average around 92. Well, that's uh, average. I'm really good, happy with. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool. Tomorrow you're gonna play against uh, Simon Whitlock. That's the next opponent. Do you have to, to lift up your game? Uh, I guess I have to. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to do that also. <laughs> oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. What's what's about darts in Sweden? Is it is it really getting bigger and bigger? Well, we, we don't have so much support from the media, but uh, the the standing is is getting bigger. Okay. But uh, we we don't um, we we're not in the media so much, but. Uh, Hopefully we will do because uh, the standard is getting better and better and I think uh, in the future we will have some world champions, uh, oh, I guess. Oh. What's their name? Daniel Larson or? Uh, or someone else, but uh, I can be one of them. <laughs> okay, that's cool. See you tomorrow, Daniel. Thank you very much. Daniel Larson. Er hofft morgen gegen Simon Whitlock sein Niveau ein bisschen anheben zu können, aber er ist zunächst erstmal froh, dass er hier die zweite Runde erreicht hat, dass er morgen noch mit von...